On your mark, get set, go! Welcome to Raw Impressions, the 75th episode. What's it about? What's this long-running podcast about? (laughs) (laughs) Well, everything. Sometimes. Have you noticed the woodpeckers? Hey, did you just record that yeah, recently? This morning, this yeah, morning. it's been so loud. We have several woodpeckers in the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm check. I'm looking at myself in the video, and this makes it look like I have one really huge breast, <laughs> but I don't. I don't. <laughs> Stop futzing with my sweater now. Um, yeah, I've Izzy and I have been talking a lot about what was that sound? the woodpecker oh there was another sound in the that was the car ah i was i was duetting with the birds <laughs> i was i was uh in congress with the birds <laughs> we were speaking i was speaking in the sounds of the minivan yeah i was gonna say i heard some little like beep beep or different things in there yep. that were not the birds yeah that woodpecker is there's actually a couple of them uh-huh. and, and if you're out at the right time you kind of get a stereo effect and yep. they kind of get, it sounds amazing and this morning there was also a dove which is mm. who doesn't love this the woody sound of a dove <laughs> the woody there's sound. a really there's a really good combination of birds right now because the cardinals mm-hmm. are cardinals are doing the miracle miracle I love the, the miracle woodpeckers miracle. just I just love that do, 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 that it's so satisfying yeah and since there's several of them in the neighborhood, it's just it it sounds like almost like a it reminds me of like a Polynesian soundtrack. Like there's this used to be a mm. thing, these these sort of cocktail records from the nineteen fifties that had sounds of the tropics. Oh. So that sounds bur- really fun for a party. Yeah, people it was a it was a big thing. It was a big thing among hipsters in the eighties, seventies, eighties, you know, that kind of Oh, uh, they'd bring those records back and yeah, then Yeah, you know, wearing bowling shoes and Oh yes. Let's bring them back again. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> wearing but, our mom jeans now. But I really thought that here, even in our sort of modest New England town, mm-hmm. the sounds were all kind of exotic. The way that the 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 dove and the woodpeckers and the cardinals and then all the other. I've just been really enjoying the sound, so I want. I have to, been too. I want to. It's I the wanna... sounds of spring. It just yes, it is. I spoke too soon about the. I have to, there's something, <laughs> okay, it's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to have a sip of my LaCroix. Excuse me. I had a little something in my throat. There, I spoke too soon about how the Robins, they had been shitting on our minivan nonstop. Mm. It was like a spring awakening. They woke up and they just, took huge dumps all over our minivan, which... I don't like being mad at wildlife. You know, I really try to avoid it. Like, I always think it's kind of lame when people are like, I hate squirrels, or gosh darn that woodchuck. I'm, I've never... I've always wanted to feel like I just lived with wildlife and it was fine. But when the Robins really fucking pounded the minivan and yeah. my dad's truck yeah. with just just diarrhea level... Huge shit. Bird shit. Yep. And we we would get the car washed, and then it would shit on. They'd shit mm-hmm. on the car, and then they're trying to make a nest above our door. Yes, it's like I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> Were you feeling some mad. feelings? Ah. I was mad at Robins, which made me feel bad because oh. I don't want to be mad at wildlife. I want to be like wildlife friendly guy. I'm not walking out and trying to make friends with with right. bears. Not but like foolish. No. Wildlife friendly guy. <laughs> I just wanted to be friends with the bear. <laughs> and then it mauled me. I get bears. I I, <laughs> I get them. Yeah, I read a art news article that was a was like this woman, she was Scottish and she was visiting oh Romania and <laughs> She decided she was in her car, but she was in an area where bears were like crossing the road. And she just thought she would take a selfie with the bear because it came up to her car. And she said, I thought the bear wanted to be my friend. And it is so hard to read that without 
just exclaiming all sorts of things like, you fucking idiot. This may not be a fact. What? This may be one of my things. Hmm. But I'm going to say it. Okay. There are no bears in the United Kingdom. Yeah. She said she was in Romania. She was visiting Romania. I know. But maybe she just didn't know. Maybe they just don't know bears in Scotland. They're like, oh, they're just big, fuzzy, friendly creatures. You they, know, they, they, exi- they exist as cartoons. They don't have real life experience with these bears in Scotland. There's animals I don't have real life experience with either, and I would not fuck with them. But they're on your continent. Almost everything is, I mean, other than like elephants. I was going to say, I don't have an elephant. It's funny you said that. I was going to say elephants. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck with an elephant. That elephant wants to be my friend. It's so cute. I just love the way it whips its trunk around. Yeah. It's it's telling me something. So to circle back to those robins, uh, we, they, for some reason, once a year, they go crazy shitting on our cars because we don't have a garage. We have a, and we have a, power line much much to your dismay it is it's adele a, i'm minnesotan we need garages yeah. i grew up with a garage we moved into this this house a really nice house a pretty big house here in greenfield mm-hmm. massachusetts we moved from los angeles and um so we got this big nice house and adele was just like where's my garage that makes it sound like i'm some ungrateful Biatch. I don't mean to do that. I'm just <laughs> saying the garage thing. It made me feel a little inadequate. I was like, wow, I, I didn't get her the garage. She really I wants just, a garage. I think it was more of just... I. It's like a fucking diamond ring, the garage. Well, it was more puzzling than anything. It wasn't that you didn't do enough. It wasn't like, why, why yeah, do... it wasn't your fault with the house. It was yeah, the house's fault. I was like, what's it's... this? Why no garage? I don't understand because you build the home. There's a garage. I don't. Well, they didn't have cars when they built the house. And yeah. if there was some sort of stable for the livestock they had, it's long, long since fallen Maybe that's into it disrepair. because in Minnesota, and the houses are newer. It's maybe. a, it's a, it's a younger state than Massachusetts. A bit. A bit. I don't know. I just, maybe because the Wintels, Wintels. <laughs> the Wintels. The Wintels. The winters are it brutal. Sounds like a, it sounds like a great like family folk group. Yeah. The Wintels. The Wintels, yep. Da, 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 da. They might wear like floral matching gowns and make friends with the bear. <laughs> make friends with the bear. I uh yeah, I'm feeling very, feeling very self-conscious about you revealing that I was bummed about a garage. I just want to make it clear again that I wasn't looking at you as an inadequate thing that you had no. done something inadequate. It was just merely puzzling to me. It was a less evolved version of myself that heard that mm. back then. I took it personally. I don't oh. take it personally now. Okay, yeah, cuz you know that it has nothing to do with you. Yeah, we may never get a garage, honey. <laughs> I know I've had to <laughs> We got a roof. We have a roof. We have a we new have a roof. Fucking roof. We've got a brand new fucking roof. Oh my god. And don't come for me. She is ungrateful. She has a home. She has a roof. Yeah, I know. You got a roof over your head, sweetie. What else are you looking for? I have gratitude up to my chin. I just am saying if we're allowed to have opinions and thoughts and feelings about things. Sometimes. Yeah. When they're convenient. Yeah. Yeah. But so we don't have a garage. As a result, we we park kind of on the side of the house, and there's this wire that goes... Does anyone remember we were talking about? We were talking about (laughs) robins shitting on our car. Well, I I have to actually just cut you off now and say that the robins did shit anew. Yes, that's what I was coming here to say. Oh, yeah, there's a big... Do you remember in the very beginning of this podcast episode when I said, I spoke too soon about... The robin's shitting. Wow, I totally, I was not onto your narrative there. I know. Well, this is, this is, we have uh, digressed wow. very far from our original. So you noticed the new shit. Yes, I okay. did. I, I, I We've saw. We've been marked again. Correct. I made note of the new display and I thought, oh, I guess they're not done with the spring shitting, the flushing. I don't know. It's lessened. It has lessened. Do you know what I Indeed. haven't noticed? Haven't. I have. Do you know what I have not noticed this year so far? What's that? Guess. Bunnies? Oh, no. Crepuscular B- creatures? 
Actually, Izzy and I went on a walk the other night just looking for bunnies. We were going to try and see how many bunnies we could count in the neighborhood because it was that golden hour and that's when the bunnies are real out and about. Crepuscular. What does that mean? It's 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 like dawn and uh, twilight, evening. And it's like when it's when the sun is going down or the sun is coming up. Oh. Crepuscular. Hmm. Okay, I don't know also how you name. got such a big vocabulary. I'd actually never, happen? I'd actually never said the word out loud until very recently. And then we heard, was it Eugene Merman say the word? He did say the word. Crepuscular. That was so wild. I'm like, what is with this word right now? And it's also, and it's also the name of <laughs> the first song on, on the <laughs> new folk <laughs> implosion album. Walk Through Me. Yes. Coming out sometime in June on Joyful Noise r- Recordings. Gosh. Crepuscular. Crepuscular. I was shocked when... So we went to see Robin Hitchcock and Eugene Merman the other night. and uh, you, Robin could do some crepuscul- crepusculating. What a speaker. Oh, man. Honest to God. I feel like I've heard him... Do you have a chance s- to go see him? Listen to him talk. Fucking... His stage banter yeah. was like... High fucking art. It really was. I was laughing so fucking hard. Every time he opened his mouth, I'm like, oh, God. Every time he opened his mouth, it was a gift. (laughs) It was actually a, like, it was so generous. And he's so clever. So psychedelic. He's kind of psychedelic. He has very, the way that he speaks on stage. I mean, he, I talked to him, I talked to him in real life. You know, and mm-hmm. he's like a real person that speaks yes. in complete sentences and um, is very attentive. And, you know, you have really yes. normal, I would say, yes. conversations with him about... Easy to talk to. Yeah, easy to talk he's to. He's not guy. snobby. No. He's we not to, hard to talk to. He gets to. on stage. There's some kind of like little portal that opens and he just starts speaking <laughs> as this sort of psychedelic character, you know? <laughs> this, yeah. And it's fucking great. It's so great. It's so good. It's so good. What were you saying before I derailed something again we were talking about crepuscular uh well i was saying that eugene used it and i was so stunned eugene merman yes that uh he said crepuscular and i thought yeah you looked at me like hey <laughs> that's the word of the moment <laughs> whoa <laughs> like i've never a i never heard that word until recently when you gave me the track listing for the folk implosion album walk through me coming out in june via <laughs> joyful noise recordings <laughs> See how many times we can say that in this episode. And uh, and I saw the track listing and the, the first song, it's the first song, right? Yeah. Is Crepuscular. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'd already heard the song mm. and I had no idea how that title went with the song. Well, each verse is, is like one verse is the end of the day. The other is oh. the beginning of the day. Okay. Hmm. But I strangely, I started it with evening. So mm-hmm. the first verse is about the evening. The second verse is about morning, mm-hmm. which I, I, I've had a little bit of, I had the twinge of regret. Like, why did I do that? It's got to start with the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. Duh. Start of the day. Start of the day. Hmm. Why would I, you know, maybe, well, I th- maybe I thought I was being clever. So then I asked you, I probably asked you then, what the heck does crepuscular mean? Or what's that song? I think I said, what's that song? Because I don't know know what that means even. And then you described the song and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that song. Wait a minute. What does that have to do with this? And then you probably told me the definition then and I, I did not retain that. And you, then I've found that, that as far as the word crepuscular goes, you actually have to hear the meaning of it over and over and over again throughout your lifetime before it finally registers. I'm trying to remember how Eugene used it. Because it, it seemed to flow out of him so comfortably that I assumed he used it correctly. I, I wouldn't feel confident. He did. Yeah. Oh, how did he say it? What was he? I word? can't remember. Oh, gosh. We okay. can't sit well, here and recount Eugene Merman's <laughs> stand-up routine. Anyone else I at was, the show? Talk you, you were, I want to get back to something that you were telling me. You said you and Izzy went for a walk, a crepuscular walk. Oh, okay. Through the neighborhood. Yes, we did. We were, you were crepusculating through we, the neighborhood. Yeah, we were on a bunny search. Did you find any bunnies? We found not one. What the fuck? It was, yeah. That's disturbing. Where was the bunnies? Usually there's like adorable 
just sun dappled little bunnies jumping in the neighbor's yards and we just delight in seeing them on our evening early evening walk and nary can i say nary nary a bunny nary a bunny nary a bunny that's interesting (laughs) <laughs> should we whip it up? Should I whip it into something disturbing? I think you should absolutely should catastrophize it and assume <laughs> something horrific has happened. This is like the bee population. You can certainly attribute climate change to this. You know, that my one evening walk of not seeing the bunnies, you could say, well, clearly they're... This they're, is going to affect... This, this means this is the whole ecosystem is going down. Exactly. That's why those poor foxes are just wandering the neighborhood, making those strange sounds in the middle of the night. Oh, those are eerie sounds. Well, once I got used to them, I'm starting to dig them, and I heard several... Are they uh, happening more yeah, still? they're still happening. Huh. They it's make quite a real... wildlife like out here. Yeah, well, we live, we live close to a park mm-hmm. um, where there are creatures... I don't like going for walks in the park for a number of reasons, but one of them is that I'm afraid of animals attacking me. You think an animal is going to attack you in Highland Park? Yes. Fair enough. I don't know. There's a a bear cave I mean, people are talking about bobcats. You know what happened to me and Hendrix once, you know, during the pandemic when we actually went to the park, when I actually walked... I, know. I actually walked in the wildlife. I did. Yeah. It. I was like wildlife guy for like a. Yeah, you were feeding like that turtle in the I, pond. Yeah, I was feeding these absolutely ancient, very um, dirty turtles. Dirty, <laughs> <laughs> moldy turtles. Yeah, they, these turtles just had moss and shit growing. They had a uh, what? Do you, what oh, they had like straws in their lichen, back. Lichen. What no, do they I'm call it? Kidding, like uh Yeah, it was. Yeah, they just had they, really a lot of. They look old as fuck, and they, they are. did, and, and they, they moved are. like old ass turtles. They've been living at the bottom of this tiny little pond. Yes. For decades. Surely. Um, but yeah, Hendrix and I were walking through the park one day. And we came out of the woods. There's a clearing, you know, the clearing where the power lines is. Near the tennis courts? Yeah, beyond the tennis courts. Oh, uh uh-huh. As you walk deeper into Highland Park towards the center school, the location of the center school, there's a huge swath for power lines that's cut out of the forest. Oh, right. Yes. Yep, yep, So we were emerging from that, and I looked to my right, and I thought I saw, I was convinced that I saw a wildcat perched Mm. on a log. And... Oof, Boy, my okay. pulse rate went crazy. I was like, "Whoa!" I jumped back, but it was just an arrangement of limb of dead limbs. Dead limbs? Oh, you know, limbs of trees. Oh, so it was, like, it just, was not, just it was just an arrangement <laughs> of, of human limbs. Dead limbs. Just, just Someone some just arranged some dead limbs. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It was. It was. I thought it looked like because I. Your eyes were tricked. They were fooled. They were fooled, but yeah. but it but I share the same. I I, I wouldn't put it past I, a I, rabid bod, bobcat, right? To, to 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 attack me, sure, randomly. I, I mean, what if some? It happens when we lived. It in does Cali- happen. When we lived in California after you saw the bobcat that in one our day. backyard. This is a in Glendale. Mythical. It's not mythical. It's it's a, it. The incredible experience you had. Seeing a bobcat in our backyard in the very populated suburb of Los Angeles, Glendale. Yes. You saw a bobcat in the tree. Yes, I talked to it. I was and on FaceTime with you. You were talking. You were on FaceTime. <laughs> it, was, it was fucking amazing. I'm like, holy shit. Does it have tufts on its ears? Because you were like, that's an awfully big cat. I'm like, does it have tufts on its ears? And you said yes. And I said, it's a bobcat. Just you like, said, turn around, get Tito, and go in the house now. That was my like chihuahua. Just like I identified the bed bugs. Remember when you were getting yes. bit, bit by the bed bugs? I'm like, what do they look like? You're like, it's weird. I'm bleeding. And I'm like, oh, God. Bed bugs. And then one bit me on the cheek while it was FaceTiming with you then as well. And I and I smashed it, and I showed it to you. And you were like, oh, my God. So I looked it up. God, that's a bed bug. Infested. Yeah, that was. We don't. Our couch that's, was. That's in, a, an apartment we lived in. In. in uh, we lived in an off of Beverly in downtown a, LA. A wild apartment <laughs> in da- near downtown LA. Um, oh man, wild indeed. Wild. Yes. Our our landlady collected wildlife. She really did. I mean, she it, fucking. Again, she had a fucking. There was a. She put out this huge bag of dog food in the backyard. 
Yes. I was out in the backyard with the kids. I looked in this dog. The bag was shaking. The bag was shaking. I looked inside and it was an entire fucking litter of possums. Yes. We have pictures. You took pictures. They're like. Wild. (laughs) They're like. (laughs) Possums look. They're kind of a gnarly looking creature. God bless them. Yeah. It was unscripted and unsupervised what it was happening back there. Well, we moved. And, the then bed, we, and then I got bed bugs in the, the apartment, bed, you, always while you're on tour. And yeah, uh, I was so on tour. By the time I got back from tour, we had an entire new. We were living in a tiny house. Yeah, in so Glenda. we came back from tour, and we I had you, moved us into your like, home. Fuck the bed bugs. <laughs> it was it was pretty intense little experience there, but we got bed bugs, and then oh, this is all going back to the ants. I was saying I have not seen ants in the kitchen because grateful. We live in a home. We own well, our home, and we love our home. They just heard that, but we that do was get, what you just did. Typically, every year we get a the vibration that you just made. Uh huh. That you put into the world. Okay. Is being heard quantumly. The like, ants just heard the call. The They're like, yep. Doing a little you ant made, dance, getting ready to you enter the, the kitchen. You made and, the quantum call mm-hmm. to the ants. Did you just hear that? Yeah. That. Fuck yeah! Oh. Oh, this is oh no is it your recording <laughs> i thought it i thought it was actually outside <laughs> you put that in there no, again no, that's it well i haven't seen the ants yet but i obviously just called them because that's how uh good job nature works and i just magnetically pulled them I'm, through the universe into been, my home i've been not saying that we don't have ants very purposely sorry not saying I'm going to go see an ant right now, aren't I? Thank you for listening to another episode of Raw Impressions. We hope you enjoyed it.